last class uh, good morning everyone in the last class uh, we are discussing about the lab sessions okay so today also we try to discuss about the lab session so exercise 1 2 3 and 4 okay before going to that just i try to share my screen first of all uh, you please uh, check once whether it is visible to you or not okay i hope all of the members able to see the screen so now i try to start my session okay in the last class we are discussing about the lab session okay in that lab session we are discussing about the syllabus right syllabus so please try to verify it once yeah yeah this is the lab syllabus in the last class we are discussing about the uh, in the last class we are discussing about the uh, creation ordering dropping of the tables and inserting rows into the table okay so and uh, uh, we are discussing about the ddl and dml right ddl and dml uh, okay today we will try to discuss Today we try to discuss about. Today we try to discuss about. Uh, yeah, today we try to discuss about uh, uh, remaining queries. Okay, so I hope all of the members able to see the screen clearly. Okay, so the first uh, first exercise is related to the creating, ordering, and dropping of the tables and inserting rows into a table. Okay, so by using select command. So these type of queries are discussed. and uh, we are hang some pending so we'll try to cover that first of all okay so just you you type the sql here so within the search space so you type the sql like this then you can able to see on the screen run sql command line am i uh, so when you are open the window like this then you are able to show the so we will see the prompt of sql like this okay so now so now you here uh, connect system slash manager okay so then it will be connected okay so in the last class we are already discussing about the ddl and dml am right ddl and dml okay today we try to discuss about uh, remaining things so just to try to open one uh, new word pad for us for practice okay practice you can the last class we are discussing about uh, uh, i will try to increase this font size for our comfort okay the last class we are discussing about ddl and dml commands am right so what are the ddl commands create alter and drop so these are related to the these are related to the ddl commands am right so in the same way okay what are the dml commands update select insert and delete so all these topics are we are already discussed okay today we try to discussing about the dcl commands so what are the dcl commands data control language okay data control language so i think the name is employees here so data control so nothing but here we are using two commands so one is the grant and another one is the revoke so what is the purpose of grant okay so grant is this command is used for grant all privileges okay to the users okay i think you are already know about this just it to repeat now okay don't worry about this okay revoke so nothing but removing the permissions removing the permissions from the users so the, these are the purposes of grant and revoke okay so how we are using this okay grant all privileges to username okay 
So then how we are creating the user? How we are creating the user? Okay, how we are creating the user? Create user, username. Okay, identified by, identified by username. Sorry, identified by password. way of to creating the users okay this is the way of creating users now just to try to uh, just to try to creating the user now okay uh, first of all create user so what is the username for example uh, uh, i want to try to create the username is raj okay identified by identified by raj so what it means so i'm creating one user that username is raj and password is raj okay so if the user is created so we need to okay we need to give the permissions otherwise he is not able to open the and database and creating the tables okay so that's why we need to hear so grant all okay grant all privileges to what's the username raj okay so in this type of way we are we will be giving the permissions now we we'll try to close this okay again we we'll try to uh, log into log in this one okay so connect so what's the username raj and the password is raj right so connected so he is able to create the tables create table table name what's the table name for example is two okay so s number number s name worker of 10 okay so table is created so that means he is this user can able to uh, create the tables and view the tables okay so that means he is having all permissions am yeah, right so he is having all permissions so if we want to uh, if you want to uh, remove the permissions if you want to remove the permissions then again we can log in into the then we can log in into the system slash manager oh revoke all revoke all privileges from run ERI VI. This mistake. Okay, revoke success. So now he is not able to again log into the that part. Maybe he is login, but he is not able to perform or create or maybe insert delete like. Okay, I hope all of the members are able to clear. Just we are discussing about the comments of the comments of grant okay and another one is the revoke okay grant and revoke okay i hope all of the members clear so we are completing the ddl commands and DC, ddl commands another one dml commands okay and uh, another one we are completing the dcl command also okay so now we try to now we try to discuss about the pcl commands okay pcl commands i think the name is implies transaction control language is it my voice is clear is it my voice is clear with response to chat box yeah thank you okay transaction control language so that means to controlling the transaction what is the transaction actually can you say anyone please what is the transaction transaction is a list of actions okay transaction is a list of actions same like as a program okay transaction same like as a process okay to control the transaction how we are controlling the transactions so by using either commit okay or maybe the, uh, we are using 
roll back and uh, another one we are using save point okay these comments are used in the transaction control and this commit means nothing but to saving the changes so whatever it may be saving the changes performed by the user okay performed by the user will be uh, so, so nothing but whatever it may be performed by the user those type of changes so those type of changes are saved by the so next one is the rollback so nothing but performing undo operation undo operation okay so next one save point we can save the records we can save the records by the name okay we will try to see so how we are using this so first of all we try to use the okay let's clear the screen okay clear the screen so now first how we are uh, uh, open the all tables from this login can you say anyone please respond to the box i want to know how many tables are existing now in this particular login so by which command or which query is used respond to the box fast fast are you understood the question what i am asking is how many number of tables are existed up to now in this login so what is the login here system and main if you don't know no problem i will tell you this i will tell you so maybe you are forget about it okay select star from app if you are giving the command is like that then it will be giving so how many number of tables are existed in this particular login okay so now i try to open some particular thing so for example select star from okay select star from vnt okay some of the things are there okay so now if i am using commit so then uh, it will be giving the message commit complete so what it means is nothing but whatever it may be we are performing the changes those are saved thing okay so next one uh, another one is the rollback okay so rollback so for example if i want to delete from table one to table n emp where so for example i want to delete uh, suresh okay i want to delete suresh where e name equal to suresh so two rows deleted if i want to display select star from emp so just i only like i'm able to see only two rows correct so uh, if i if i want if i don't want this so then i just use the rollback okay then rollback complete so that means perform undo operation okay so now select star from emp if you see this so the deleted uh, records two records finish will be back right so that means in this type of way we are using the save point uh, sorry roll back and commit okay now how we are using the save point okay for example now i want to insert into table name what's the table name emp values and what are the fields here so employee number okay employee number giving 11 and employee name is for example mahesh okay uh, and uh, another one the salary Salary, for example, forty-five thousand. Okay, so I'm giving like this. One row created. Again, I try to insert some other one. Okay, for example, this is the uh, this is Arish. Okay. Okay. Arish. The number is twelve. Okay, and the salary is fifty-five thousand. Okay. now these two points now these two points yeah uh, by using save point we can uh, save the particular records okay for example here i'm giving save point for the name for example here i'm giving triple g okay save point created okay now i try to uh, uh 
try to using the commit one. Vivo. Okay. Vivo ammo method. Okay, coming from here. Okay. Uh, and uh, for example, now again I try to insert some other one. For example, uh, 13. Okay. This one is. Okay. This one is. Nagesh. Okay. This one is Nagesh. Salary is 65,000. Order created. Again, I'm giving some other one. So this one is 14. And this one is location. Okay. So this one is transfer. Okay. Again, I'm using another save point for two four inputs. So new four inputs. Okay. So here I'm giving triple A save point name. Okay. Uh, now I try to use the commit. Okay. So now. Uh, so just I want to display some star set equal to it. Okay. Uh, okay. Now if I uh, if I want to delete one, if I want to delete up to triple A. So what is the save point? Oh, sorry yeah thank you uh, roll back to triple a okay just to try to see now select star from emp okay actually here uh, roll back is not uh, work properly in this version okay don't worry so actually here that last two requests will be deleted so we will try to see later okay i hope all of the members are able to clear okay so so why i am seeing all these commands again so in the exam point of view, so how we, how we don't know how to we are elaborating the answer. So that's why I'm giving here. Okay. So I hope all of them is clear now. I hope all of them is clear. Okay. So I think you are you are uh, uh, you're having clear idea about that DDL commands and DML commands and DCL commands and TCL commands also. Okay. So those are nothing but one is a commit to performing the save changes. And rollback how we are using the rollback and how we are using the save point okay up to here so just we are completing the data test language okay so i hope all of the members having the clear idea about that so now we'll try to go to the syllabus okay so now we'll try to go to the syllabus uh, we'll, 
number ID. Okay. Uh, okay. So the first exercise is completely completed. So now we try to discuss about the any all in exists not exists union reflect and accept. Okay. So we try to see now. Okay. So before going to this, so just we try to completed. Uh, uh, efficiently today, it, it just we go for the use and uh, another one is group by and group by having and aggregate function. Third one, we will try to complete that one. Okay, okay, exercise three. Exercise three. So, outside the aggregate functions, okay, and uh, another one uh, group by. And having class, and uh, another one order by. Okay, so just to try to discuss about these things. Okay, so in the case of aggregate functions, these are used for these are used for to performing the calculations. These are used for to perform the calculations easily. So what are that? So those are some count, average, minimum, and max. Okay, I think the name is in this here. Sum is used for to sum the all records. Okay, to sum all the records. Okay, so next one, uh, giving counting, count the number of records. Next one, AVC, performing the average. Okay, so next one, find out the minimum value. Okay, this one, find out the micro value. Okay, I think you are already know about this. Okay, just I try to repeat. So don't uh, don't try to see me this about okay so better we'll try to practice number of times then only you are having a clear idea about it. okay so how we are uh, performing this sum so here one of the advantage of these functions is all queries all functions having the same type of syntax okay just to try to change the function only for example select sum of sar from emp Okay, select sum of cell sum here. Then it will be some total value. So if you're up there here, if you're up there here, so just to try to use the same thing. Select sum of cell from EMP. Then it will be some total value. 34,000, 44,000, 22,000. Okay. I think you are able to up there here. So 3 lakh 40 thousand total. Okay. So this is the one of the way using this aggregate functions. So in the same way here, Select sum of cell from EMP. Okay, so here just to try to change. Okay, some count of cell. If I'm using count of cell, then it will be written how many number of records are there. Okay, seven records totally. Okay, so in the same way here, just I'm changing this one. Okay, select some count average. What is the average salary of for the batch? Okay, forty-eight thousand to five seventy-one is the average. Okay, so in the same way here, just I'm uh, changing this one AVG, so I'm giving minimum. So next, it will be giving the minimum salary. What is the minimum salary from this table? So 22,000. Okay, in the same way, here I'm giving uh, it will be giving the max salary. 
so who is having the highest salary for that hotel for example if i want to know the name so who is having the highest salary okay, then uh, where where the name equals to okay so just you try to uh, just you try to combine the two queries here so first of all we need name all right select e name comma sal from emp where sal equal to here i'm opening another query so this type of queries will be for the next queries okay select max of sal from emp if you observe one thing so first of all you try to observe so what is the output for this select sal from emp then max of sal from emp then it will be find out the max of sal right at the same time so that uh, that output will be assigned to the this output okay this so so first of all inner query will be executed as outer uh, this inner query result will be added to the outer query okay uh yeah if you observe here e name and salary is there and it will be giving the name okay in the same way we can find out the minimum salary of the employee also how we are find out the minimum salary of the employee this we try to change the function so nothing but here we are combining the two queries i hope all of the members are able to clear so what is the aggregate function right okay select average minimum and uh, uh, counts okay so all these functions are we are just discussed now so now we try to discuss about the group by and having an order by so first of all we try to see what is the order by okay okay order by this command is used for to displaying the records in the order either in ascending order or descending order okay so we can we can uh, display either in ascending order or in the descending order so just you try to see this select e name from emp order by order by e name so then it will be display the employee names in the ascending order okay just to try to copy okay so i want to clear this screen clear screen okay so what is that select e name from emp order by okay, e name so ganesh harish lokesh so if you observe here ascending order right so i'm not mentioning actual ascending order so it will be performed default to operation is ascending order okay so for example i want to display in the descending order so dsd okay descending order uh, yeah okay descending order so suresh first ramesh next nagesh mahesh lokesh okay harish and the last one is ganesh okay so in the same way we can uh, display employee name and salary also okay according to their according to their salary also so 22000 is there please so first thing is suresh so next 34000 next 44000 so that means here so we can based upon any field so by using order by we can change that and in the last class i am saying about that order right so how we are using the alter right so let's start from emp just you try to observe now okay how we are changing the table name first of all so rename so what's the old name emp to em okay table is renamed okay in this type of way we are using the rename also okay and another thing uh, here just to try to type now uh, maybe 
so this uh, some concept is repeated here so how do we are uh, performing the rename old name to new name okay so, so this is the way for to changing the table name so how we are changing this one so rename emp to em then the output is table is actually table rename okay so this is the output okay please remember this how we are changing the table name okay and we are by using as also we can changing that okay and another thing here uh, how we are changing the field name for example here we are observing here e name is there sal is there for example if i want to change sal okay sal to salary then how i can change can you say anyone please the last class is here discussing about this if you have any idea about that i will write this down how we are changing how we are changing the field name sell to salary can you say anyone please from the template table okay sorry now the table is dm table okay so again we try to perform uh, rename so then uh, problem is not there em2 okay em okay good yeah some of the memory is being replaced updates oh sorry 506 think it once Can you say anyone please how we are changing the field name? Sal to salary. Actually, sal is there, right? Yeah, alt sir, very good. So how we are changing this? Give me a reply. How we are changing that? Okay, maybe time is time is wasted here, so I will try to change that. Okay. Uh, maybe he Maybe uh, all of the members know about this, just maybe you uh, forgot about this way because lack of practice. Okay, so I will try to change this name by using alter. So alter table. What's the table name? EMP. Okay, and uh, here we are modify. Okay, so not modify, renaming the column. Rename column. Salary. Okay. I hope all the numbers clear now. So alter table table name, rename column column name to new name. Okay. So just to try to copy here and paste. Okay. Table alter. Just to try to select star from EMP. Here up there here salary is there. Okay. The same way here, just to try to add our column. So alter table. Uh, table one, table one, EMP, and so one column. I want to try to add one column. So power twenty. What's the error name for that is or care of twenty. Okay. Alter table table one, add department or care of twenty. Okay, table is altered. Select star from EMP. I hope all of the numbers clear. Okay, so for example, now I want to update so all this one. Okay, so uh, actually, here it is. So many departments are there. Okay, um, by using updates, update what's the table name EMP set DAPT equal to okay, um, percent. DAPT where here uh, common thing is uh, so individual is e name all right I'm just going to do okay so what's the department for example CSC so what's the name Ganesh 
So on Roy's upgrade again, I try to give him the department for the VCA. Okay, CE name is Rami. Okay, Roy's upgraded as Suresh Mahesh. Okay, department again, I try to give him the, this one. The name is Suresh. Okay, and uh, here I try to give him the ECE for Harish. Okay, and another one is uh, ECE. Okay, name is Nitesh. Okay, just to try to say if I'm not losing anyone or try to start from any one thing. Okay, so one of the person is there. Okay. Location is not there. Okay. So here I'm giving CSC. Location. Okay. Now I just I try to see down. Okay. So that means here we are assigned for each and every person. Okay. And uh, here only one person, Mahesh, I think. Uh, I try to give. So I will give triple A. The name is Mahesh. So zero rows subtracted by this is the reason. M A H K S H. Oh sorry. Okay, again I try to this one. Triple H M A H K S H. Oh, H. Okay. So I have to start from twelve rows. Okay. Now all uh, rows will be updated here. So just I try to give a bit. So now I try to using the group by. So for example, I want to display the employee names. So according to their branch, okay. I want to display the employees employees uh, according to the so nothing but here. So by using group by okay, how you are displaying this select e name, okay. So when we are using the group by, when we are using the group by, we remember one thing. So that is, we should be use, we should be use at least one, at least one aggregate. Not at least, should be using, should be using, okay, should be using one aggregate function aggregate. can we update multiple columns or rows at a time yeah some of the person has asked this question uh, can we update multi columns or rows at a time when we require multi data in large database then sir so then you can use the ampersand syntax so in the last class also i'm saying about that by using ampersand you can uh, so I think uh, at present also I'm saying I'm I'm just changing in that manner. I'm right. So just I'm using alphas in here. So that's why I'm asking number of times. Okay. So that's why it will be given that. So this is only the time. So when we are handle the multiple data. Okay. Okay. So for example, so how we are using the group? By? So just to try to see now. Select. Okay. Uh, select uh, branch. So select department, select department, count of departments, okay, from EMP group by, so based on existing the department, okay, so this is not required, just only I want to know how many departments are there, according to that uh, group only, just uh, I want to this, okay. Are there here? Triple E is one, CSC is four, VC is three. Okay, so in the same way, here just to try to change this the department wise, at the same time, here we try to give the name also. Okay, uh, e name, e name departments. Okay, e name departments group by so based on e name. If you are observing here, count. If you are observing the count, so Suresh CSC2, okay, Mahesh triple one So here we are not able to count it according to that one. Why? Because uh, here name is also same. Then it will be performing the count. Okay. So we can change the query. 
So for example, here E name and department, here count of department, not count of department, okay, cell or uh, uh, count of cell, okay, valid enter, okay, count of salary is there, I think, okay, fear of this here, okay, in the type of way we can group the flexible form. Yeah, I think maybe the time is over. So I will try to just discuss about the group by having also. The same thing. The same thing is also uh, maintained for the select DGPT count a department from EMP group by DGPT having having cell greater than 20,000. Okay, or greater than uh, 30,000. Okay, if you rub it here, so we can group the employees, but condition is there. So if the salary is greater than 30,000, then only we can try to group. Okay, just to try to see now. Clear the screen. Okay. Group expression. Why? Please just wait one minute. Group by having MX. Group by having. Group by having. Just to try to see the example. Having count of customer ID. Okay. Just to try to use here also. Uh, having count of salary greater than one. Right there, I choose select department count of department from EMP group by department having okay. Here we try to give another one. So here we try to give count of cell, and here also we try to give that we we'll try to give this salary. Right there, I think. Well, actually, we are not open at the moment. Count of salary. Okay, we will try to discuss about this tomorrow. So I will continue. Okay, I think maybe time is exit now. That is why I am closing this session. We don't worry about this. Okay, we will try to continue in the next class. So, when we are handling with the group and group by having just to you remember this so you should be using the aggregate okay we'll try to discuss tomorrow don't worry about that and tomorrow session we will try to uh, i think today we are uh, completing the third one so just we are hang with only only two employees okay so we will discuss in the next class uh, if you having any type of doubts you can contact me personally uh, at present i'm closing the class okay and uh, all of the members, I hope all of the members already sent the uh, assignment to my mail. Okay. Please don't delay. Don't try to lose your forms. Okay. Have a nice day. Take care. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Take care.